hello everyone so in this system we have worked on so far we can just run over these npc characters uh, which works pretty nicely but the problem is even if i hit them very slowly they just drop like this for example let me hit him very slowly see still even if he touch the car he drops dead so which is unrealistic so that's what i am going to fix on today so basically what i'm going to do is if the car speed is above uh, some certain threshold they should go into ragdoll mode and thrown away otherwise they should be just like pushed away while walking so right and in case you don't remember we worked on the getting hit by vehicles part in this video i'll put a link in the description below so this is an extension on the same project right so first let's open the sedan which is the car and this is the method that enables us to uh, make the characters go into ragdoll mode when they are hit by a vehicle so let me open this interface uh, to, I don't think we need to make any changes here so let me open the base ALS character yeah, this is the implementation of on vehicle hit which I have implemented through this CLM damageable BPI so here uh, yeah let's add one more parameter vehicle and this should be in the type of factor right now we can do some calculation if the velocity we can get the velocity uh, and check it if get the length of the velocity that means the speed and check if it is larger than let's say 500 units then we can put them in the ragdoll mode else you can we can we let's not do that else let's just leave it like this and see how it works so far and we need to give a reference to this self that means we need to give a reference pass a reference to this sedan actor here Right now let's check if I hit them fast they go into the ragdoll mode okay but if I hit them slow see now nothing happens they stay the same but this is also a problem because a car should be able to push them away even if they don't go into the ragdoll mode so see I can't even if I'm pressing W I can't move because the character is staying still right now to fix that here uh, let's promote this to a variable as vehicle and set if we are below this speed threshold and do we have a tick here tick oh we have a separate graph for that parent tick okay here uh, 
let's add a new function vehicle interaction and in the tick draw let's add it here let's call it here right now in the vehicle interaction if we have a valid vehicle uh, let's get the velocity of that vehicle mm. so we basically we need the we need to push away the character but since these are ai controlled i don't think uh, inputs uh, the, i mean the at moment inputs would work so basically we will have to override their velocity so let's try this method set velocity right so how do we set the velocity so as i said we need to push away from the vehicle so get at the location and also get location uh, of the character as well using this tool we can calculate the direction from vehicle to the character so if i set the velocity along this direction the character will be pushed away from the vehicle and so what's the value of this velocity should be so we should always try to make the character move away from the vehicle so therefore but if we set it as exactly as the vehicle of the velocity they will all uh, keep touching so let's get the vector length of this one and multiply this by let's say 1.5 and we can multiply this vector with this float maybe we should move this part below right okay so we should do this only if we have a valid vehicle uh, so we still haven't implemented the method to clear out this vehicle we should look into that but first let's see if this method works let's right he is moving away see and they don't seem to stop see so let's try again see they continue to have the movement input so what we can do is here we have this collider box to identify these pedestrians we on this begin overlap we call this on vehicle hit so let's set another one another function on vehicle hit and let's just assume there are, will be no multiple vehicles that hit the civilians in the same time so otherwise this would be a bit complicated so yeah then let's implement this here box on component end overlap let's call on vehicle hit end so let's implement this function in our ALS character yeah. on vehicle hit and let's simply set the vehicle 
Tuna. That should prevent adding further velocity to the character. Right. When I exceed the speed, they do go into the ragdoll mode. Now see, they just simply pushed away. Great. They don't just did the drop dead just by touching there. See? That looks more realistic. slowly again to test okay so when I exceed the speed limit they go to the right door mode but that's fine but this is working as intended see they just pushed away all right so I'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye